Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and complex topic. A hypothetical head-to-head -head between the Swedish Saab JAS-39 Gripen and India's own LCA Tejas. Specifically, we're asking, can the Gripen definitively beat the Tejas? This isn't a simple question, and the answer is far from straightforward. Understanding the fighters. First, let's establish some context. Both the Gripen and the Tejas are fourth-generation fighter aircraft designed for multi-role combat. However, they come from different design philosophies and technological backgrounds. LCA Tejas. Developed by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, the Tejas is a lightweight single-engine fighter. Its design emphasizes agility and maneuverability. Recent developments of the Tejas MK-1A have brought considerable upgrades to its avionics and radar systems. It's crucial to acknowledge the ongoing development of the Tejas program. India is investing heavily in improving its capabilities, with future variants promising even greater performance. Saab JAS-39 Gripen The Gripen, produced by Saab, is also a single-engine multi-role fighter. It's known for its advanced avionics, data linking capabilities, and its ability to operate from short runways. The Gripen E variant, in particular, boasts a very powerful radar and very modern weapon systems. Comparing Capabilities now let's consider some key factors in a potential aerial engagement. Radar and avionics. Modern aerial combat is heavily reliant on radar and electronic warfare. The Gripen, especially the newer E variant, generally holds an advantage in radar range and electronic warfare capabilities. However, the Tejas MK-1A brings significant improvements in this area, closing the gap. Weapon systems. Both aircraft can carry a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. The effectiveness of these weapons depends on factors like range, accuracy, and electronic countermeasures. Maneuverability. The Tejas is designed for high maneuverability, which can be a crucial advantage in close-range dogfights. The Gripen is also very maneuverable, but the Tejas was designed with this as a very high priority. Data linking and network-centric warfare. Modern combat relies heavily on sharing information between aircraft and ground stations. The Gripen is known for its advanced data linking capabilities which can provide a significant tactical advantage. Operational context. The outcome of any aerial engagement depends heavily on the specific operational context. Factors like pilot skill, support from ground-based radar, and the overall strategic situation can all play a decisive role. Conclusion. So, can the Gripen definitively beat the Tejas? The answer is, it's complicated. While the Gripen may hold advantages in certain areas, particularly in radar and data linking, the Tejas is a capable fighter with improving capabilities. And the Tejas has excellent maneuverability. In a real-world scenario, the outcome would depend on a multitude of factors. It's important to remember that both aircraft are valuable assets to their respective air forces, and both are constantly being upgraded. The evolution of these aircraft will continue, and future variants will likely bring even more advanced capabilities. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this comparison has provided some valuable insights. Please leave your thoughts and comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth analyses.